We have a battle here between XMT's The Phoenix King and VM's Berserk. Warriors of Chaos and Corn. I don't know if Berserk was memeing around. I don't know. Berserk's a hard character to read. I talked to him a fair amount. Not a ton, but like, I have talked to him a fair amount. <laughs> it's hard to tell when he's being silly and when he's being serious. So for all I know, this is actually, you know, he actually thinks Scarbrand is really good here. I... I don't know. Don't know. I don't believe in Scarbrand. I love Scarbrand. He's my favorite Corrin Lord. I love taking Scarbrand. But I, whenever I take him on stream, I always acknowledge that he's not the best choice for what I'm dealing with. Anyway, for the builds for Phoenix King, we have six Skirmish Cav. It's like four Marauder Horse Men, two Marauder Horse Masters. And then we have a bunch of Marauders and Chaos Warriors mixed throughout. The Chaos Warriors all have great weapons, it appears. And then uh, four Chaos Warhounds, some with poison, some without. Archeon the Everchosen is the Lord, Spirit Leech, Searing Doom, and his Crown of, uh, sorry, not his Crown of Command, his Slayer of Kings and Fight or Die, making him a pretty spooky duelist. On the other side for Corn and Berserk, we have uh, three Chaos Warhounds of Corn, some Flesh Hounds as well. Looks like two, four Skirmish Cav total. Then Marauders of Corn, some Chaos Warriors mixed in there as well. We have one Minotaur and Scarbrand the Exiled with his uh, Fire Breath and AoE Rampage. The dog engagement overall looks like goes to Corn as Scarbrand hops in, throws down his AoE Rampage, but it doesn't matter because everything that could have Rampage is already leaving that fight there. Archeon's trying to avoid, avoid Scarbrand for now. Well, Archeon's a spooky duelist, I think Scarbrand would still probably beat his ass. Probably. Just to, I think he has a larger health pool. Yeah, he has a much larger health pool. Yar. The hill fight looks like it overall went to Corn, while the skirmish cav of the Warriors of Chaos continued to pro provide a little bit of a beating. So Chaos Warrior is going to get hit with a Searing Doom poke. Hmm. Yeah, Corn kind of slapped that fight, didn't he? Damn. Go, Corn, go. Skirmish Cav trying to get up to Arc uh, to Scarbrand and fire at him, but they don't really realize that there's all these Marauders and stuff down here because their flag is all the way up there, but they run face first into some of those units and then back off. On the low ground, Marauders are dueling with other Marauders. It'll probably be, for the most part, a wash. Guess where great weapons dealing with the Minotaurs of Corn. Over time, they would get a lot of value, but it looks like the Minos are going to back off after their charge bonus wears down. And all six of these Skirmish Cav are really trying to find... Flash Hounds, Minotaurs, and Scarbrand. Those are the big targets that they want. They're having a tough time. Berserk has screened a lot of them out with uh, Chaos Warriors and Marauders just walking at them, wasting their ammunition and time. So these guys are down to half ammo apiece. They're firing at the Marauders. I think they... I'm so bad with Skirmish Cav. It's, uh, it, it, everybody knows it's my worst playstyle. I'm just really bad with it. Um, I can never get these fucking things to fire, so I think Phoenix King might have them on fire at will just to get them to shoot at stuff while running away, but that is, unfortunately, throwing a lot of their ammunition to Marauders. I don't know, though. I'm s I'm so bad with Skirmish Cav. If you've watched the live stream, and you might be like, why does Boy never use Skirmish Cav? I am just dog shit. Just absolute dog shit Skirmish Cav player. Anyway, Archeon helps finish off some Marauders, but he gets beset by Big Minos with Big Mino axes, and he starts to run through his own Marauders for a little bit of support there. The Marauder Horseman Blob is nearby, all throwing at anything that besets Archeon. And Archeon is going to get away. Scarbrand throws an axe at him, but just misses the attack. Corn's up on the bounce power. I would tend to agree, it looks like a lot of the frontline fight is going to Corn, And with six Skirmish Cav on the enemy side, you would kind of suspect that, you know, they didn't put that money into the front line, so Corn probably should win the front line. Broader Horsemen continue to kite away. Scarbrand throws down his AoE Rampage, really trying to get something out of this, but he's just struggling to. And this is kind of where Kite is right now. If you're running away from something of a similar speed, it just feels like they just follow you forever and ever. They don't actually swing at you while they're chasing you. Um, that's why War Wagons are considered so tanky. Is like If a War Wagon is driving away from you, your guys will never swing, even if they catch up to it. One of the Skirmish Cav of Corn is peeled off with the Spirit Leech and some volleys. Another one is about to get going, and while Scarbrand finally got the fight that he wanted, this could turn into a disaster for him. If these guys are able to circle up and all throw at Scarbrand, they'll do a lot of damage to him just by volume of fire. The Flesh Hounds are fading away too, so it's Scarbrand all alone. He has to weigh how much he wants this duel versus uh, his own life, and he does decide to walk away as a Skirmish Cav 
continue to pile in onto him. So he lost eh, maybe a quarter of his health for that trade. Archeon took a little bit of damage too. Elsewhere, the frontline fight is still progressing. We have some healthy Chaos Warriors around, a healthy Marauder too, but Korn has uh, these big spooky Minos. They still have Scarbrand, a couple Skirmish Cavalry with plenty of health, and uh, some Chaos Warriors of their own floating in the mist. Marauder Horsemen running out of ammunition as they pour some more into the Marauders of Korn. Once again, I don't know if Fire at Will is on or not but it would appear to be, judging by the targets they've taken. They've now all targeted onto the Minos, determined to deal with those guys. Get a nice little volley there, and start to kite backwards. They're getting chased by dogs and Scarbrand, another Spirit Leech onto Scarbrand, as I'm sure he is just infinitely pissed off that he is not able to find a real fight. Chaos mustering a bit of a backfield here, trying to get some of their Chaos Warriors to group back up. And Korn's lead on the balance of power is still slight. It's been like 55-45 this whole game, pretty much. Marauders of Korn get attacked by all these skirmish cav. Looks like they're just trying to charge in, but all of them charging in in a blob like this probably isn't going to do nearly as much damage as if they were charging in separately. That's a lot more micro, and there's a lot of things going on. Just acknowledging that uh, charging a million cav at the same target at the same time doesn't, like, lead to... You know, it's not one-to-one. -one. It's like, the first one charges at one, the next one charges at, like, 0.5, and then, like, 0.25. Diminishing returns. But they get rid of the Marauders. Scarbrand throws out a quick angry breath attack, trying to get a little bit of damage, but he barely, barely pokes these guys. Skirmish Cav, though, is running out of ammunition very swiftly. Yeah. One of them has five volleys, one has three, the others all had one. Scarbrand and his forces decide to run down the infantry. If they can't catch the Cav and can't catch Archeon, they will take out what they can catch. And Archeon and his Cav are trying to defend the last healthy Chaos Marauder, and maybe rally this one. Though I don't know what he's going to do. Once he groups up all these horsemen, I mean, like, these guys are all out of ammo. That guy's out of ammo. Two volleys, five still. That's a, It is a horse master with five, at least. At least it's the best of your skirmish cab. Another spirit leech onto Archeon, really trying to whittle him down. The horse masters and this last horseman are trying to get some shots out. Big AoE rampage catches both of the chaos warriors and the marauder horsemen. And with that, Scarbrand plus... Um, his own Marauder Horseman Corn and the Minotaurs are going to pile in. This could be a disaster for the Warriors of Chaos. Fight or die, Slayer of Kings is popped for Arkham, but he has to be careful. He's opting into a Rampage, so if he takes any damage at all, he'll probably start Rampaging, and then he can't leave. And with Minotaurs so close nearby, I'd be scared about fighting Scarbrand at this moment. Horn of Corn is popped, giving everybody juiced up stats, and pretty much all of Archaon's Skirmish Cav have opted in, and now they're starting to regret that. Two of them are routing. A Chaos Warrior is routing. This last one is trying to pursue. Marauder Horsemen of Corn are also getting out of here, but these Minotaurs and, uh, Chaos... Ooh, those are Chaos Warriors of Corn too. Yeah, they're not fucking around. That full health Chaos Warrior we saw earlier is already down to half, but a nice Searing Doom from Archeon gonna punish a different fight entirely. Hit some Marauders and some Marauder Horsemen. Chaos Warriors have taken the lead on the bounce part of the first time all game, but Scarbrand finally found his target. He got to Archeon, and they are gonna have that duel now. Man, Scarbrand is gonna beat him to death. Remember the health difference. Scarbrand has about as much health now, about, as Archeon started with. And Archeon's down to 2,200. So while their health bars look similar, he has 3,300 health and Archeon has 1,800. So, yeah, the percentages look similar, but the actual value is not, as Archeon gets slapped around by Korn. One shot finally misses, but man, so many others hit. He starts to get away now. And Scarbrand swings the last time. A little too late as Arcan already gets away. But that's, what's, that's what Scarbrand has wanted all game. He just wanted to find Arcan and fight him. Because Scarbrand, like, I think he's a bad lord. I think he's currently implemented poorly. But I think it's because he's too expensive. And I think he has some asynergistic um, abilities in multiplayer. But, like, yeah, Scarbrand's a really good fighter. It just doesn't make up for his high cost point. But if you fight him, yeah, he'll, he'll do things. He'll do stuff, as we just saw. So Korn is entirely out of steam. We have an almost dead Marauder. An almost dead Minotaur, an almost dead Marauder Horseman, and everything else is routing. Scarbrand still continues to try and find Arcan as he charges in and gets a big rear charge onto him. Very nice stuff. And uh, if he hits Arcan, one more time he'll route. Two more times he'll die. Because his weapon strength is high enough to get Arcan, but these things never do 100% of their damage, right? Like, if you have a weapon strength of 1,000 you hit something, it's like going to be like 800. Just due to armor and stuff. So Archeon is two shots from dead. This healthy-ish Chaos Warrior could be a problem for Korn in the long run. And does he have his AoE Rampage? He does. Archeon needs to get out of here. 
He enters the aura. He gets Rampage. The Scarbrand charges up to him, gets a hit. But you see, it brought him up to 400. It didn't even do, like, half of the damage it's supposed to. And then Arcan, with all of his buffs pops, he hits Corn to the face. He hits Scarbrand in the face. Arcan goes down to 17 HP. He got hit twice with 600 weapon strength. Though The second one was actually at 500 weapon strength because he was wounded. And somehow, with 670 HP, got down to 17 because them's quick maths. And uh, all of a sudden, the bounce of power turns wildly against Corn. I would tend to agree. Arcan will survive at 17 HP. And if he died, these two units would probably route as soon as they came close to Scarbrand. This thing would probably stay in the fight. And since Scarbrand is, like, you can see he's literally negative 55 leadership, he will crumble. But I just wanted to point out 17 HP on Archeon, the Ever Chosen, to win it out. 2,600 for him. Marauders did okay. Chaos Words Great Weapons eh, struggled mostly. Mostly struggled. Skirmish Cav did well, and the dogs eh, also struggled. You know, said for Berserk, Scarbrand did fine. Got his duels he needed. Mino struggled a little bit to get their value back. Flesh Hounds did okay ish. Dogs struggled a bit. Marauders, eh, okay. And the Marauder Horseman of Corn also did well. GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.